Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Fairy Dust TV. I'm your host, Jen Burton, romantic fairy godmama for smart, successful single women around the world. Today's topic, dating versus relationships. Things that women need to know. Now, before we get started in today's topic, I have to let you know that it's not a huge surprise to me that women constantly come to me under the assumption that they're in a relationship with somebody they're actually not. And I'm not talking about dem women. I'm not talking about women who don't get it. I'm, I'm actually talking about very successful, enlightened professionals, women at the top of their game who don't get that they're not actually in a romantic relationship with a man. So today I want to address three things that are going on in these scenarios so that you from here on out are never clueless again and that you have a really clear understanding of what is going on with that specific guy. Number one, exclusively sleeping together does not mean you are in an exclusive relationship. I do understand that he may have told you that he's not sleeping with anyone else. And he may have asked you if you're sleeping with anyone else. Or he might have said something that he's not currently seeing anybody else. But I need you to understand because you are a smart, savvy, single woman that this does not mean that you guys are in an exclusive relationship. It doesn't mean that you'll end up in an exclusive relationship either. Because I'm going to tell you what normally happens. Most women in this scenario stop seeing all other men and cut off all of her other options in other guys she can, she can date. On the other hand, the guy that she is supposedly exclusively sleeping with, he might not be actively pursuing other women, but he doesn't close down the option. So if the opportunity presents itself, he's not in an exclusive relationship. Now, regardless of whether that was his intent or not, that is not important. What is really important is that you, as an adored woman that we teach you to be here at HaveHimYourWay.com, understand from here on out that exclusively sleeping with somebody does not mean that you're in an exclusive relationship. And it doesn't mean if he tells you that he's not seeing any others, that that means you're in an exclusive relationship either. And in fact, what you can do if he says something like, are you seeing anyone else? Or he says, well, I'm not seeing anyone else. You can just be very clear with him because that's very helpful in today's very wishy-washy dating landscape. You can say to him, are you asking me to be your girlfriend? And then you know, you know right there with his answer whether or not he, his intention with you is that of an exclusive romantic relationship. Which brings me to number two. Any man, and this is so very, very important, any man that wants to keep your relationship a secret is not your boyfriend. He is not in an exclusive romantic relationship with you. Now, before you get your panties in a bunch, yes, there might be a little window, um, window of opportunity for him to tell somebody that's important, like for instance, his family or maybe an ex and to break it to her and things like that. But any man that goes an extended period of time and gives you all kinds of reasons for why he can't tell people about you and introduce you as his girlfriend, there's something seriously wrong going on there. And that is not an exclusive romantic relationship. And it's actually one that you need to turn away from probably right away or at bare minimum, you need to open up your options and other men again, because you're not in an exclusive relationship. Now, if you're, if you're wondering, you know, how long should you give a guy uh, to tell the people before, you know, before you know that this, there's something really weird going on, 
the max, I would say in a couple weeks to be honest, but the absolute, absolute max would be a month. Anything after that, there's something wrong. There's something, your radar should, your alarm should be going off in your head saying this, there's something really not right in this. And you don't need this specific man to have an amazing love life. So at that point, lover girl, you need to open up your options. Now, with that said, let's go into number three. And number three is one of my favorites because it's um, when guys, let's say you ask a guy, for instance, like an in example number one, you ask a guy, are you asking me to be your girlfriend? And he responds with something like, well, I don't really like labels. Hmm. And then he goes back to the, well, I'm j we're exclusive. Well, you know, I'm only seeing you. And I want you to know right there, any guy that tells you that he doesn't like lab labels is telling you that he wants to keep his options open for other women to come in his life. And that means in this current moment, you two do not have an exclusive relationship, regardless if he's seeing anybody else or not. It is not an exclusive romantic relationship. And how do I know? Because I know what you want. And how do I know what you want? Because you're here listening to this video right now, trying to determine whether this is dating versus relationship. And if, since that's the case, what you're telling me you want ultimately is to be in a relationship. And this guy is telling you that he's not there yet. So what do you do in all these scenarios? I already hinted to it about opening up your options. One of the things that I teach at havehimyourway.com is called mantourage dating. Mantourage dating essentially is dating more than one man at a time, maybe two, three, four, five, six, possibly talking to 10 different guys, depending on if you're online dating or doing other things or being very social, it's really up to you. And it doesn't mean that you have to sleep with all these men, by the way. You can sleep with just one if you like or none. It's completely up to you, but it's dating more than one man at a time until you find your forever man or indefinitely if you so choose. Now, truthfully, most women come to me because they're looking to either figure out this one specific guy that they want to be in a relationship with, or they're looking to be in a relationship. As I mentioned before, their ult most women, their ultimate goal is to be in a loving, committed relationship. But, and this is a really big but, I want you to start rewiring yourself to think of being in a relationship as part of a journey versus the ultimate goal. And instead, I also want you to focus on having the most amazing time while you're dating. So instead of thinking it as dating versus relationship, I now want you to think of it as all one long, big, amazing, magical journey experience that you get to have. That way you take the pressure off of yourself about dating. We think that we have to get it right and that dating is this necessary evil, but the truth is, is dating can be amazingly fun like it was for me and it, like it is for the women that I work with who are committed to making their dating experiences magical. But you might be thinking, why does that even matter, Jen? Because when you make your dating experiences magical, you set yourself up for incredible long-term love. You learn things about yourself and about men in dating that you would have never experienced otherwise, which is why I want you to go to mantouragedating.com and learn the basics of mantourage dating and learn, and learn about the frequently asked questions. You can learn the answers to the frequently asked questions I get from women. Download the PDF and start to understand how you can take your dating experience, make it magical, which leads you to a long-term loving and incredible relationship. 
Okay, lover girl, let's quickly wrap up and review today's topic. Dating versus relationship, things that women need to know. Number one, please don't forget this and Oh, please don't forget this. This is this is one that is the most heartbreaking for me to hear women believe. Exclusively sleeping with someone, even if he says he's not seeing anyone else, does not mean that you are in an exclusive relationship. Remember, you are more than welcome to ask, ask him when he says, well, I'm not seeing anyone else. You're more than welcome to ask him. Does that mean that you're asking me to be your girlfriend? Number two, if... If a man ever wants to keep your relationship a secret, run for the hills, please. Run, run as far and fast as you can. Please fly at the same time. Or if you are gonna keep him around, make sure he's part of your mantourage dating experience and not your exclusive option in men. And number three, men who don't like labels. If he says he doesn't like a label, he doesn't want an exclusive, committed relationship with you. He's keeping his options open, and that means you should too. Okay, lover girl, I will see you next time, and here's to you having him your way.